Hey everyone, this is Brian Buckaloo from Provision Studios, and today I'm going to make a real quick video that is going to show how to um, sort of play in automation on a Studio Live 32 SC console while working in Studio One. So, um, uh, this was a question that was asked um, that was based on a video where I showed how to sort of link up Studio Live and uh, Studio One to where you could mix sort of on the console and have that stuff replicated inside the doll. So um, first thing we're going to do is on the con on the console, the Studio Live 32SC console, we're going to go into doll mode. And how you do that is you hit your UC Net button and you make sure that Studio One is selected. And the only way this will work is if Studio One is already opened up on your computer as it is here. So if you got Studio One open, you'll see it as a selectable doll on the uh, UC Net option. Once you've got that done, turn off uh, or select off the of UC Net and then select your select your doll button. And then now you're going to notice that your console is populated with your recording session. So I've got my mix session here. All the tracks are populated from left to right just as they are inside of the session. And I can scroll over hitting the next button to, to go to the next page of tracks that are inside of my session. So um, what I want to show here today is how I would automate a vocal. So first thing I do is I'm going to go to my vocal tracks and I'm going to do a verse. So basically the way you do that is you right click on, on the track and you click on show hide automation. When you do that, it's going to give you this option right here to which you're going to select whatever the, the, the uh, value that you want to automate. In this case, we're going to select volume. And this is going to give us the opportunity to control our volume level in real time while we have playback. So the next thing you want, you're going to want to do is next to the solo button, you're going to see this auto off. That means that the automation is off. I want to click on that and select touch. So now that's yellow and that's telling me that my vocal verse is now going to be touch enabled for automation. So if I hit play on my session, I'll be able to control the um, automation on the vocal verse. And you'll also see right here on the display of the Studio Live, I can control my automation modes and they, are, they respond automatically right here inside my doll. So if I'm in touch, I got touch on my vocal verse track. If I hit read, I'm in read mode on my vocal verse track. If I turn it off, then automation is, is off. So in this case, I'm going to do touch and I'm going to hit playback right here on my console and we're going to do a little bit of automation on the vocal verse, which is going to be this uh, fader right there. So there you go. 
you'll see every time I let go of the fader, it returned back to the level that I originally had it set at. So I can set my bass level where I want my volume to be at, and then I can do vocal rides or vocal swells in this touch mode. And when I let go of the fader, it's going to automatically return to the level at which I originally set it at. So that's it. Uh, this process works the same for panning uh, or any other automatable feature you'd want to add inside of your mix session. Um, if you have any questions about what I showed here today, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below, or you can always email me at bbucka22 at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So until then, I'll see you guys. Uh, you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. <music>